Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows and today we're going to be doing another sort of question and answer video. As in the video the other day I said I posted it again on the community tab and I'm going to do it again after this video so I'm sure that post will be up. A new post on the community tab where you can ask new questions because as you know over the break there's not going to be that much news and we've got to keep up the content for you guys and keep you entertained throughout the summer and obviously throughout the lockdown and everything like that. So I really, really like doing these videos, so keep on sending them in. I got loads of comments, like hundreds of comments, about new questions and new ideas, new topics to talk about. And we're going to go through about 10 of them in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So remember in yesterday's video, we did a Crisis on Infinite Earths giveaway. So the DVD is coming out, I think actually today. So go check that out. Today's the last day to enter, go comment on that video. It was literally the last video that was posted on the channel before this one goes up. So I'm going to be picking the winner tonight, so please be sure to go over there tonight and that's your final time to enter. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So the first question comes from Marcus Barris on YouTube who asks, Will Melissa direct another episode in season 6 of Supergirl? So obviously Melissa did a amazing job this season, season 5 of Supergirl with episode 17 being her episode. That was the episode where we had to wait for ages because we had that extended break just completely out of nowhere and then we just finished with the last few episodes which were 3 episodes, so 17, 18 and 19 just recently. And I loved that episode. I thought that was one of the best episodes of the season. It was mainly about Lex and, you know, we went back in time sort of after Crisis and figured out what was happening. It was such a great episode and I have no doubt that Melissa will go back and direct another episode. But I don't know if it will be next season. I think there is a high chance it will be next season because David Harewood directed the finale this season. I believe he directed an episode earlier in the season as well. He did one last season. So... It seems like, you know, once they get their first shot at directing, the stars do tend to come back and direct episodes. So I would say it's pretty damn likely that Melissa's going to return to directing next season. But I don't think it'll be straight away because it will be like right after a maternity leave. I would say it's more likely to be in the back half of the season if we do get to see Melissa directing again. Okay, so great question. So Marcus sent in a bunch of really good questions. Like I said, you can send in as many questions as you want and I can answer more than one of them if they're really good. I'm picking the best questions that I think you guys are interested in. So Marcus also asks, will Supergirl have a crossover with Superman and Lois in the upcoming season or in the future? So for sure, I would say definitely in the upcoming future. I'm not sure about next season. I think maybe they'll show up in you know that two episode crossover that the CW has planned which was originally for Batwoman and Superman and Lois but we'll see if that actually turns out you know proper because of what's happening with Batwoman so I would say definitely Supergirl and Superman and Lois are going to have a team up and they're going to cross over soon because it is in fact a Supergirl spin-off because Superman first appeared in that show Obviously, Lois first appeared in the crossover in Elseworlds, so that's a bit different, but she's a Supergirl character. They are both sort of born from the Supergirl show. So definitely, they're going to cross over at some point in the future, but I would doubt if it will be next season. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Sambi Sai on YouTube who asks, who do you think will replace Ruby Rose? So this is a hard question. People have been bringing it up. There is some, you know, picks out there, and I can't say for right now like i'm certain as to who's gonna get cast i think it will be someone completely new and i think it probably is someone who we are not talking about right now but the only one that kind of made sense and the only one that i'm like yeah this would be cool is wallace day from krypton so she was really really good on that show and she sort of has the build i think she has the definite acting talents to hold up to someone like ruby rose who obviously isn't like the best actor in the world but she's pretty damn good as batwoman and i think Whoever comes next has a lot to live up to, you know, in regards to embodying Batwoman like Ruby Rose did. So I think Wallace Day is a pretty good guess, but I really don't know as of right now. That's only one name. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Rumba Zumba on YouTube who asks, 
could Chester have portal opening powers in season 7 and could he replace Cisco? Also what is Bloodworks long game? So that's a few questions packed into one. So in regards to Chester getting portal powers, I highly doubt he will get, you know, vibe powers like Cisco in season 7. I would say he's just going to be the same old Chester. He's going to have his own sort of powers and, you know, he's going to be his own character. But yeah, in regards to replacing Cisco, I think he's definitely there for when Carlos eventually leaves the show because we thought that was going to happen like last season, but that never ended up happening and, you know, those news reports were false. But it does seem like at some point in the near future there is a possibility of Carlos leaving the show and Chester is definitely a backup to replace Cisco because he very much so fits in that sort of camp of where Cisco is as a character like what makes him Cisco and what makes Chester Chester is pretty similar obviously I prefer Cisco because we've barely seen Chester but I would say that Chester is definitely there as a replacement okay so let's move on to the next question this comes from Solomon Wong on YouTube who asks will the Flash make his new speed force in season 7 so yeah this is a great question and my answer is of course he's gonna get his new speed force powers next season i'd say it's pretty much going to be between like the first and third episode because i think they actually plan to do that and give him his powers back right at the end of this season but obviously we ended with 19 we had 20 we had 21 and 22 that was supposed to happen so i believe that was what was going to happen and i think they're going to wrap this up pretty quick at the start of the season and i mean it's pretty obvious barry's going to get his speed back he is the flash he can't be powerless you know for the whole next season so i would say yeah probably pretty damn soon we'll see him discover this new speed force maybe if it's artificial or reviving the speed force i guess that's still an option but yeah i would say pretty soon after the premiere. Okay, so the next question comes from Stefan Rodriguez on YouTube who asks, do you think characters from Arrow will make special appearances since they're all on the same earth now? And he puts in brackets, I know Diggle did in the Flash post-crisis. So another great question, and this is something that has been lingering on my mind for a while, and I'm glad I get to answer it because I really do think that you're gonna see these characters from Arrow pop up on the other shows. I don't think it's gonna be like Felicity, but obviously they're still setting up the Green Arrow and the Canaries TV show, so I kind of still think that's going to happen, so I wouldn't worry about Laurel and everyone. But apart from that, I'd say we're still going to see Diggle popping up every now and again like we did post-Arrow and post-Crisis. He showed up on The Flash, so we've already done that. And I think it's just, you know, the first step to seeing more of these characters on other shows making special appearances. So yeah, the answer is, I think it's definitely going to happen. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from DC Universe Clips on YouTube who asks, Will Arrowverse have a crossover with the DCEU in the future? So yeah, the Arrowverse already had a crossover with the DCEU in Crisis when Ezra Miller's Flash completely showed up out of nowhere. No one knew it was going to happen. And that was just a major bound breaking sort of step by Warner Brothers and by the CW to have these characters interact and be part of the multiverse. Obviously, crisis happened and everything, so we don't know if, you know, now the DCU is still, you know, in the canon or, you know, whatever you call it. But I would say there's a possibility definitely in the future that we see some of these characters show up even on the film. So, like, our DC TV characters show up in, say, like, a Justice League film or, like, a new Aquaman film or Shazam or anything like that. There is precedent for that already because it's happened, so why not go the other way? So I think there is a possibility both ways could happen once again, which would be very exciting to me. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from FX Snipers on YouTube who asks, do you think Grant will ever direct an episode of The Flash? And I think, yeah, for sure. At one point, he's going to do it. I don't think Stephen Amell did it at any point, but I feel like there is a very high chance that, you know, stars do end up directing at least one episode as, you know, shown with Melissa recently. So, you know, I would say it's like a 70% chance at some point in the Flash's run that Grant's going to step behind the camera and be the director for an episode. Obviously, it could not happen like with Arrow. However, there is a very, very high chance because, you know, a lot of people on the show have already done that. Danielle Panabaker's directed episodes. Tom Kavanagh has... And I think, you know, there is a high chance that Grant may do it someday. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. 
And remember to enter the giveaway. Tonight's the last night to enter that. Check out yesterday's video for that giveaway and how to enter to win Crisis on Infinite Earths on DVD, which will be coming sometime in the next few days to the winner who I picked tonight. So, yeah. Also remember, go to the community tab right now and leave your questions for another video sometime later this week like this. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.